Uh, welcome to another edition of In the Pocket Hall. Thanks to our friendly team at Palmerbet and Spider. You have ah, survived. Gather around, big fella. I tell you what, it is brilliant, and I know that uh, people are going. Oh, we need more gather rounds, and we should be here, should be there. Absolutely not. Leave it where it is. Have yeah. one week, and that's you don't need several gavel gather rounds. It won't have the same impact you, as mate. what has. And look, I reckon, I reckon there's a market maybe in three, four years to have it in Tasmania for one year when they launch. The Tassie Devils, but outside of that, I think uh, it's got to stay in Adelaide. It's fantastic the way they, the way they do it. And you know what really got on my goat was the fact that there I am <laughs> with all the Port Adelaide supporters, thousands of them marching to a band, you know, just hitting the big drums and do 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 the trumpets, the whole lot. And we walked past a couple of media guys and we played behind them and they cracked it. What well, like, not happy. Not happy. Come on, name and shame, mate. Name and shame. I don't know their names. That's how well <laughs> I know the. Uh, I got a couple of journals. Anyway, I was like, what? We put you off reading the auto cue. You can't possibly work without reading an auto cue. It was embarrassing. And they really cracked it. And we're like, that's what Gather Round's about. About, I would have embraced them, brought them in there, the atmosphere, the party. Yeah. So, yeah, outside of that, it was just. Um, a sensational couple of days, and as you say, the who's who was over there, and it was fantastic. They do a great job, and they should absolutely keep it. It shouldn't go anywhere. Yeah, don't dilute it. Don't uh, don't try and overdo it. You know that that's what happens uh, with plenty of things. They 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 get a bit greedy and they try and overdo it. And that yeah. I reckon you're right. Keep it simple. It's worked over there. It's a great spot. It's a footy state. I reckon that's a key spot. It's a footy state where it's uh you know the the love of the game over there is huge, isn't it? Yeah, well, you know, and you've got all the flights going over, you know, all the hosties and all that all dressed up in their gather-round gear, and it was fantastic. And then I couldn't believe the first – I lo- launched into the uh, the main you know, Rundle Mall there, and I thought, okay, and the first three guys I ran into were fully dressed in Gold Coast Suns gear. Yeah, unreal. I was Isn't like, that awesome? Yeah. That's unbelievable. Like 20 – they would have been maybe 28, 30 – Three guys said, nah, we saw it last year. We've come down from the Gold Coast. We're watching every game this weekend. It was absolutely brilliant. Love it, mate. Hey, uh, and you survived. You didn't get down to Hindley Street or anything, mate. Did you you party? Oh, Joplin's is closed. Joplin's is closed. That's the only place I went to. I I was knocking on the door. I climbed there. I went down the stairs or up the stairs that I'd normally go into, the back passage that takes you just behind the bar and you get free entry. on the wall, I reckon. Ready to get my four bourbon and you know cokes, <laughs> drinking responsibly, of course, and it's all locked up. <laughs> I said if Joppies is no go, I'm no good. I'm out. I'm out. I Mate, can't. Get... I can't come to Adelaide. Is St Leonard's in uh, Glenelg? Is it still going? Remember Lenny's? Can you yeah, remember Lenny's. Oh, it was a good joint no. too. I didn't go too past far. I didn't go far past Joppies. I tell you. That was the go-to. <laughs> I love it, mate. Hey, listen, <laughs> let's have a look at Gather and uh, let's recap to the good, the bad, and the ugly. We'll start off with a good undefeated teams, the Giants, Carlton, Geelong. Um, fair effort to be undefeated after four rounds, Spide. Um, are these three teams the benchmark, do you think, at the moment? Is there another couple to slot in there, like Melbourne? Um, the power starting to um, you know, get some nice wins on yeah. the board, play some consistent footy. I think the good, and we've just spoken about it, the good was a gather round. I thought it was fantastic. Yeah. That's the good for me. But uh, when we're just uh, focusing straight straight on footy, yeah, I, I think you, know, you could start sitting there going, you know, I know the Giants are the, are the key, but, you know, Melbourne's really starting to find their way, aren't they? Sydney, yeah. okay, they're, they're thereabouts. Carlton have been the surprise for me. They're just starting to win those really tight games yeah. and consistently women. And Melbourne, Melbourne have been fantastic. I think – Melbourne have probably been the side this year that's impressed me the most compared to last year and, yeah. you know, all the off-field dramas and everything they had. So I think for me the good so far would be the Melbourne Footy Club and I, I think Carlton. Carlton have been good. I, I've underestimated Carlton a couple of times just thinking, you know what, don't know. But I tell you what, they get the job done. Yeah, and, and close games. Got a little bit of the Collingwood from last year feel about them at the moment, the Blues, haven't they? Well, they got that faith, and you know, I didn't think Patrick Cripps was that good over the weekend, but you know, everybody else was able to stand up and deliver. And you know, when they really got challenged, they were still able to do it. They held their defence really well. They still got enough through the midfield, and you know, you got Cripps and these blokes like the second tier ruckman 
is a real key these days because you know you've got your number one. You need that that pinch hitter yeah. for a couple of uh, couple of minutes, and you know you see Patrick Cripps stepping in there and and playing that role, and you see that throughout several clubs. So yeah, Melbourne and Melbourne and the uh, the Blues for me so far. Yeah, right, mate. What about the bad Essendon second half? Uh, against the power, mate. They kicked two goals, two. Currently sitting two wins, two losses. Have they improved? What are your thoughts, Bob? Be honest. Oh, yeah. Look, I, I think, yeah, I think they have. They they will be. And um, you know, there's plenty of sides out there at the moment where you sit there and go, you know, like it's such a tough one at the moment. You know, your, your easy beats at the moment are West Coast and, and North Melbourne. Yeah. Okay. So you yeah. sit there and go. Okay, the easy beats Hawthorne. You're a big fan for, so you sit there. Yep. And Adelaide sitting fourth bottom. You, know, you sit there and go, Adelaide Crows shouldn't be there. They're a better side than that. They actually weren't too bad over the weekend. You know, your your side Richmond. Then, um, you know, you've got so many sides, and I think gather round out in the country. Yeah, different ovals. I thought we started to really feel a bit where teams are at. I reckon this week we're going to be able to start, hopefully, to start picking, you know, six, seven, eight, nine every week because that's what we – That's what we haven't been able to do it the first four hey, rounds. You been, You were close. We're going to get to that, mate. You were very, very close last week. I'm weekend. building. I'm building. I'm, I'm building. the messages weren't coming through thick and fast uh, over the but weekend. I, but my bad, just, just very quickly for my bad, yeah. the umpire review has to be quicker. Yeah. Too Why much they of have, it. Too much. Yeah. And why do they have to wait for something to come up on the big screen to say it's a point? Yeah, okay. Get yeah. your cryptocurrency. Put yeah. it on the bottom of the screen while they're doing the review. Given their advertising, the umpire say, you know what? It's a point, play on. It yeah. might be only five or six seconds, but it's already started. Yeah, if, they, yeah. if they're arguing about a goal, the ball should be back in the middle. Yeah. There's enough footies on the ground at the moment to be able to sustain that. So for me, I just think the the reviews have to be a lot quicker. I reckon our poor old Fremantle Dockers, mate, they were a bit stiff on the weekend. Oh, They've but you, you were stiff. never going to. You're, you're going to just say, no, nah, they weren't stiff. You know, you're never going to. You hate the no, Dockers. I don't, I don't, you don't I don't. any Dockers supporters over there? Does anyone give you any <laughs> stick? <laughs> you know what I did? I <laughs> ran into a guy and it was hilarious. Because he reckons I made a bet with him in 1994 on April the 30th. He knew the date. At the t- at the Tunnel Nightclub that Collingwood would beat St Kilda in 94. I said, no way, mate. Anyway, Collingwood got up and he told me by 46 or 49 points. I can't exactly remember. <laughs> so he reckons that I still owed him a beer and gather round. And he said, plus then I've, I've tried to put on, you know, all the interest. So he actually owed me 6.4 beers. <laughs> he had it fully worked out. <laughs> hey, look, dear, it too that in nineteen ninety four, big fella. Oh, absolutely. Two so, back then. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, look, I think, um, yeah, look, the dock is for me. Yeah, that that one at the moment, no one was going to guess that. No one could have seen that, and you no. don't want to see every article. We would have had a thousand of those over the last yeah. few years. So, I reckon the goal was there. I reckon the the penalty was stiff. The second goal, yeah. but yeah. the first one was one hundred percent there. Yeah, yeah, right. I move on from the Dockers, mate, because you're not going to change your mind there. <laughs> the ugly. What's going on with the Crows, mate? Uh, they're four, one of four teams that are still winless. Um, their next five games, this is big. So they've got Carlton away, Essendon at home, North Melbourne away, Port Adelaide at home, Brisbane at home. Um, oh, geez, you only probably pluck one out of there, which I think is North Melbourne, which is a, a late MS there, mate. Uh, they were good uh, against the Melbourne Football Club. Uh, for mine uh, last weekend, but I, I, I just there's a lot of question marks, isn't there? And what's the feeling like over there in Adelaide? Well, they they looked a lot better. They absolutely they looked did. a lot better. So that's one positive for for Nixie and the team that um, you know they started to run, they started to use the ball. Um, you know, I think um, you know Isaac Rankin and these you know you know these uh, Jordan Dawson. You know, yeah, they still do need their leaders. To stand up and big techs, but what gets me with with Adelaide is that they were just so destined for finals last year, and they have just slipped. And yeah. it's just been able to be get their game going. And Nixie said that he goes, "We just want to be free flowing and get our game going." And I thought they did pretty well against Melbourne. And I think don't underestimate Melbourne. I don't. 
I, I think Adelaide took a massive step forward yeah. on the weekend compared I'm to what you. they'd showed over the last couple of weeks. I'm with you on that, mate. And I reckon Melbourne, you're right, are a very, very good outfit at the moment. They're getting the job done. They're getting it done well. And uh, they've just got to just take a few more risks, the Crows. Um, that's when they play their best footy. I think most teams do now. When they pull the trigger and go down that highway a little bit more often um, down that corridor, I reckon it, uh, it certainly works. Hey, listen, you're tipping for last week, mate. Yeah, hey, fill me in. Eight out of nine, big fella. The only uh-huh. game you missed, uh-huh. the Western Bulldogs. And Steph, yeah. Oh, five Steph, points? Yeah. Four. I think it was four. Four or five points. And, yeah, it was stiff. But even later on in the week, I know, you know, I was chatting on air about this kind of Thursday, Friday. And, you know, you think about Carlton, you think about their two key forwards. And every time you tip Carlton, you go, you know what, I can't see people getting around their two big key forwards you know, I probably underestimated the big Jeremy Cameron and Tom Haw- Tom Hawkins. Like you don't been good they're, all year. They're, they're as good. They're as good as Kerno and Mackay. So yeah. you you kind of forget about them when you're thinking about Geelong. You have got all well, these I other. I think players I threw you about. off last week because I did say that Tom Hawk looked a little bit sore in the uh, the third and fourth quarter uh, on Easter <laughs> Monday, and I think that might have threw you into the Bulldogs, big fella. Well, and that that was the only one. But yeah, later on the week, I actually started to like the. Like the cats a little bit. Would yeah. I have picked them? Yeah. Don't know, but you know what? It wasn't too bad. Eight out of nine's okay. Eight out of nine's good, mate. Six out of nine for me. I missed Adelaide. Fremantle stiff. Bulldog stiff for mine. So uh, we're around the mark. We're starting to improve. Well, uh, you're certainly starting to improve. Now, your best bet, your BBB bounce back. Um, yeah. So four teams at the line, two saluted, Port Adelaide and Brisbane. Your Saints let you you're down against uh, Oh, the but Tigers. hang on, hang on. They all saluted. They just didn't they, get to the line. They all won, but that's not the bet, mate. The bet was <laughs> at the line. The bet's back. You can't just – it's like spiders revolving little kind of uh, – little no. ro- revolving bet. You, but no, no. But the bet was own. there. Yeah, the, the bet, bet was, was there. The four teams won, but the line, was, the, line was the value. Uh, and the Swans were the other ones that uh, didn't get there at the line. Yeah. Um, the best thing out of Adelaide, Lacocious, Stengel, Grundy, Pickett, Draper, anytime goal scorer, two out of five. Uh, there, yeah. Draper, Grundy, no. and Lacocious let you down there, mate. Yeah, but hang on. Like, I like Draper. It. Yeah, Draper was only a friendly bet if you wanted to double up. So, really, Grundy and Lacocious set me down. Yeah. So, the big two men, yeah. like Grundy, had a, he could have had a shot. Lacocious had enough shots to put himself on the board. Definitely, mate. You're when are they going to learn to there? kick straight? Yeah, you're, you're a little bit – you're a bit unlucky, to be honest, uh, with, with both your best bets last week. How'd you go? Uh, mate, I'm considering myself terribly unlucky. Oh, yes, yes. Because yeah, I, did. <laughs> I, I, took, I took the Western Bulldogs to win. Eugle <laughs> Hagen, Waitman and Jeremy Cameron, all bang, two plus bang, goals. Bang. Three of them saluted. The Bulldogs won kick away, and uh, we would have been just smoking our way to uh, to the next gather round, big fella. Oh, it was uh, – I did feel for you. I did feel when I saw no, all those didn't. players. You did oh, not no, feel for me one I, little bit. You're thinking, yes, I've got one up on him next week. Slight, slightly, <laughs> I did. I, I did. I felt for you as I was laughing. Going, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah mate. Just like the Fremantle Dockers, mate. You, you, you got about as much love for me as them. I reckon. <laughs> right, hey, I'm keen as mustard on this round of footy. Uh, yeah. And uh, gee whiz, I. I Oh, I'm just pulling the trigger on a few, but let's start off Thursday night footy. It is Melbourne taking on Brisbane, 7.30. I love the 7.30 start MCG, head-to-head, all thanks to Palmer, bet the Demons at $1.43. Brisbane at $2.85. Jeez, that's juicy. Oh. At the line, Melbourne minus $15.50. Brisbane plus $15.50. Come on, big fella. Brisbane need to break this MCG hoodoo. They come so close uh, in the grand final last year. I don't know. I I, I reckon this is it. I reckon this is the line in the sand moment. They've had a lot of heat on in the last couple of weeks, Spide. And I reckon the Ds are due for a flat one. Yeah, look, I I understand your pain, but... um... I reckon the Lions have got more chance of getting to Vegas, get, coming home from Vegas without getting into trouble than winning this game. <laughs> Melbourne are in good nick. Melbourne are... They're they due have, to like, have a flat one, though, mate. But they won't. They won't. They're, they're a side at the moment that have just, you know, like Steve May comes back in. I thought his game last week was absolutely unbelievable. He would have... I reckon he should have got the player of the round. Come in with broken yeah, ribs. Got smashed in the first couple of minutes. Oh, courageous. Took, 
took three uh, um, contested marks in the first quarter, Lighting ended up back with nine, floating back, did everything. He was absolutely in pain and still went on. If they don't make an example of that at training, and I just think the Lions cannot – they've got nothing on Melbourne at the moment. Melbourne are too powerful. They've got a great defence. Lions forwards aren't really operating that well. Their midfield, we know, will be a great battle between both. And you go up forward – and, um, you know, Melbourne's got a fair bit of attack. And it doesn't come from one player either. They can have three or four. Van Royen to kick a couple of goals as well. I reckon the Lions are still very jittery. No, I'm with the Lions here. I just, I reckon, I reckon they want to break the hoodoo. There's a lot of pressure, as I said, on that playing group. This is a chance to make a statement. Get the MCG hoodoo off their back. They are primed well, for this contest for mine. They want to make, if they wanted to lose the hoodoo, Grand final day would have been the day to do it. Well, they tried. They got pretty close, mate. They didn't do bad. They didn't do it. <laughs> Righto. <laughs> we're agreeing to disagree there. Yeah. Um, Western Bulldogs, Eston, Friday night, Marvel Stadium. It's a massive uh, game for both these clubs, to be honest. Uh, all of a sudden, Western Bulldogs, $1.44. Eston at $2.80. At the line, the Bulldogs, minus $14.50, $1.90. Eston, plus $14.50, $1.90. There's just so many little pressure points, uh, isn't there, in this one? Because the loser, to be honest, all of a sudden, I reckon the blowtorch is going to be well and truly on. Well, yeah. Well, the dogs were stiff. Um, the Bombers just were outplayed. The Bombers, I think, you know, they they really got to the Bombers' edge and, you know, they kind of fell off the edge. Uh, they just haven't been able to perform. I yeah. think, look, the Bombers will be trying to bounce back, but I think the dogs have got a really strong side. They'll... A bit stiff on the weekend. I reckon they allowed a little bit of opportunity to go past. I love the way. Look, and I wasn't a massive fan of him early, but I reckon he's nearly growing into one of my favourite players, and that's uh, Libertore. He's just yeah, he's a machine each week. Each you know, he's in and under. He's hard at it. Yeah, he he creates beast. absolutely. So yeah, look, the Bombers will need to bring their edge, but not too much edge, like everyone. So for me, I'm sticking with the Dogs. I'm going the Bombers, mate. No, I'm going the Bombers. I just, I, I actually don't reckon the Bulldogs are, are going as good as, like, because I, I saw. What do you mean, the, Waitman? You no, got Hagen, I Norton. Saw, yeah, but I saw Bond. Geelong. I saw Geelong the week before, and I thought Hawthorne had their chances to knock the Cats off, and I thought the Bulldogs were going better than Hawthorne. So that's how I'm kind of looking at it. Um, a lot of spotlight on the Bombers during the week in the media. Us included, and, uh, and I, just think, <laughs> I think they're gonna. I think they. I think they're not too bad under the roof at Marvel. They play. They play a, a, a different yeah. kind of brand of footy. So I, I they just do. They're good value at two eighty. Like Brisbane are at two eighty five. Oh, okay. They they like uh, the roof at Marvel, so they don't get their hair any moisture or rain in their hair. <laughs> That's not going to phase you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> that is not going to. Hey, righto. Saturday, we go to Manuka Oval. It's GWS Giants taking on your St. Kilda Football Club. Head to head, the Giants, $1.33. The Saints, $3.35. Giants at the line, minus $9.50. St. Kilda, plus $9.50. Uh, Giants undefeated. They are tracking along yeah. beautifully well at the moment. Just getting the job done. Winning how they should, how they have to. Your mob, the Saints, up and down like a yo-yo spide for mine. But, you know, can you sell it to me? Can you tell me how the Saints can cause a little mini upset here? Yeah, well, you know, they're lucky to get away with it over the weekend. Uh, I think the Oval really helped them. You know, the Tigers got off to an absolute fly. But I think the way they were able to peg back in that second half, they really controlled the footy in the second half. They ran, they chased. They actually brought the pressure on. And yep. if you're able to do that against the Giants and not allow that tsunami situation, we saw the Giants were, were nearly beatable. You know, they, and we know when you're playing on regional grounds, it's a different brand of footy, but Manuka Oval is a little bit, uh, or Manuka is a little bit uh, yep. similar as well. So, yeah, for me, I actually think, you know, the Saints through their middle, I think their front half is okay, but they're defensive at the moment. Like, how many times? Can the Saints' defence really stand up? That's what saved them on the weekend. If they can hold you, you know, again, Toby Green's got to kick goals. Where's Jesse Hogan? Jesse Hogan needs to, you know, his first couple of games were outstanding. We saw Brown was outstanding first couple of games. So you know, I think um, the Giants still need to improve. I'm going to stick with the Saints. I reckon they can get the win in Canberra. Yeah, right. You, that, that, that would be an upset spy because uh, – 
Giants playing really, really well. I think four quarters is the key for the Saints. They're playing patches, don't they? Uh, but their best is good enough. But I'll be sticking with the Giants, mate. Toby Green Radio. and our friends. They are flying. Carlton Adelaide, Saturday, 4.35 p.m. at Marvel Stadium. Just incidentally, we've gone every tip opposite so far. Um, three oh, games yeah. You know, I got eight last week. You're just trying to catch me. <laughs> I'm going to do something. <laughs> I'm going to do something. Hey, Marvel State in this game, head-to-head, the Blues, dollar twenty six. Adelaide at three ninety. Had the line, Carlton, minus $23.50. Adelaide, plus $23.50. I reckon the line's the play here for the Croaks. Spied? Like, well, do, do you, it's a hard – It's Carlton weren't convincing the other day. They were far <laughs> from convincing. Haven't but been. They, even against Richmond, they weren't convincing back in round one. They're getting they? the job done. Yeah. They're getting the job, and that's all they need to do. And we know what Carlton can do. They can be here. They can be here. So we don't know where they're going to be. I thought the Crows took a massive step forward. We spoke about those, you know, the Crows at the start of the, the program saying, yeah, yep, okay, they've only won the one game, but they did take a huge step forward, and I reckon they'll end up building on that again. So I'm with you. Crows at the line, I'm, yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm, tipping, I'm actually tipping the Crows. I'm not going to tip Carlton. I know they've got the two big key – key forwards, but yeah. right now I'm going to tip the Crows. I reckon the, the Crows are due for a good win. Yeah, right. I, I, I think it'll be closer because the all Carton games at the moment seem to be close. So I reckon that line, 23 and a half, is, uh, is certainly absolutely uh, the play of the weekend. I'm sticking with the Blue Baggers, but uh, yeah, I reckon if I was uh, having a bet, you just multi up that into uh, – into something and you're nearly virtually doubling your money. Gold Coast taking on Hawthorne Saturday, 7.30 p.m. at People First Stadium. Head-to-head, the Suns, dollar twenty-four. Hawthorne, four ten. Gold Coast at the line, minus $26.50, dollar ninety. Hawthorne, plus $26.50, dollar ninety. Your Suns were good last week, mate. They were, they were good yeah. against a good team on a neutral yeah. ground. Um, yeah. But I'll tell you what, well, the, Hawks, the Hawks were good against Collingwood too, weren't they? Well, they were. And that's what you, uh, you kind of – and. Yeah, you look at those odds and Hawthorne at four dollars, like against last year's premiers. Yeah, not traveling that uh, that that well at the moment. But you know what? You only can beat what's in front of you. Yeah. And when you look at the on paper, Collingwood's got a good side. So I think Hawthorne are flying the flag at the moment. You know, they're 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 the best team. And I actually asked someone this. Well, it was you know, me. Who would you? Yeah, who would you rather coach, Hawthorne or North Melbourne? Because you know you've got the master and the apprentice in Clarkson and Sam Mitchell and. Yeah, it's a tough, tough one. I think the Hawks have got a really good list and they've got a, a good side. They just battle on. You know what they do? They give four quarter effort. They have a crack, and yeah. that's what you want. The Suns, on the other hand, I think they're a much better team at home. I think they played a lot of young kids last week. They had three new debutantes. Uh, and then another kid, you know, Jed Walters was only on his first or his second game. So look, I think they need a little bit more experience to come into that side. But then being at home again. Might um, you know really turn it on? So I'm I'm staying with the Suns. I reckon the Suns will win this. I reckon they'll win it by a fair bit. The Hawks have been good, but how long can they be that good for? Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I'm actually I'm going the Don't. Hawks. I'm going the Hawks, mate. We yeah, are polar. We are po- I've, I've, I just I I reckon the Hawks are just having a real crack at the moment. They have got a real good little bunch of soldier beetles that uh, just crack in. And uh, and give it their all for mine, and uh, yeah, walk yeah, yeah. The charge. And uh, the, the police, the police haven't found a big, um, you know, <laughs> uh, a, a big crop of something down your way, and just <laughs> burning it off, and you're just getting a little bit of a whiff all the way over Warnable at the moment, are you? Like... Mate, I'm telling you, we're gonna this time next week. I'm gonna be sitting here just drinking, you know, champagne. <laughs> And oh yeah, that's right. And just go, how hey, good is this? And a little bit of crayfish straight off the wharf, oh, Eddie. I, I forgot you're a champagne lover. Anyway, <laughs> actually, we did share a champagne <laughs> at Steaks Day. No, I, I don't drink champagne. I've got a reputation, <laughs> mate. Mate, you had one. You turned around and you actually drank it. You said to me later on the day, you said. I've never had champagne before in life. Don't that's tell anyone. Time. That's the first time ever. Don't worry, I reckon it's about the third I've had, mate. More than <laughs> hey, righto. Port Adelaide take on the Fremantle Dockers Saturday, 7.30 p.m. at the Adelaide Oval. This will be a beauty. The Dockers, I'm tipping, would have stuck around after Gather Around. They've had a week uh, in Adelaide. Head to head, the power $1.34. Fremantle, 325 At the line, the power, minus $18.50. Fremantle plus 18 and a half at dollar ninety. Power get the job done here, Spite. 
Yeah, I think so. Look, the Dockers have been brave. They've been very, very good over the last uh, few weeks. They're a bit stiff on the weekend. We can all go back and say, okay, it was the umpire's decision. But at the end of the day, they did lose. But you're coming against Port Adelaide. I think, you know, Rosie, who's one of the greatest players. I love the Port Adelaide tradition of, you know, the the captain wears the number one jersey. Rosie's got that. And everyone else that follows in the footsteps of... He's um, going. Oh, and he just brings so many other players. Like yeah. Houston's now is able to get his hand on the footy. You know, they've just got butters. so many great butters. And they got Charlie Dixon and all these young blokes coming through as well. So I I think Port Adelaide are in a really good spot at the moment. I'd be – and at home, yeah, you'd be hard to beat at home. Yep, yeah, power for mine. We agree on one yes. side. We agree. Right, oh, Geelong taking on North Melbourne Sunday. GMHBA Stadium, one o'clock start. The Cats short, as you would imagine, a dollar oh three. Kangaroos at twelve bucks at the line. At Geelong minus fifty five and a half spot at dollar ninety. North Melbourne plus fifty five and a half at dollar ninety. Um, Cats, they get the job at home, don't they, mate? Yeah, Second they home do. Game for the year, and I think you got to really watch out for you know the line because. I think North Melbourne, and, and sometimes yeah, they, they will get smashed in West Coast, but at the same time, they put up a really good fight. So yep. the line can be sometimes dangerous in, in this situation, and I'd be definitely checking out the weather conditions and you know really your ins and outs to find out can they get over. I think Geelong at home absolutely you know, makes it a huge advantage against uh, you know North Melbourne. But still, you know, North Melbourne, their mids have been able to be really courageous. They really... Took it over the weekend. I thought they were, you know, and even at half time, you're thinking, well, there's, there's still half a chance. So for me, I'm yeah. going to stick with the Cats. Yeah, Tanner Bruin, he's in that good nick at the moment for mine. The number four for the Cats, Jezza Cameron's flying. Oh, yeah. Um, they, are, they are playing some uh, some really good footy. And uh, Grian Myers last week, too, he was sensational as well. Cats for mine to get the job done comfortably. West Coast taking on Richmond Sunday, 4 p.m. at Optus Stadium, head to head, the West Coast Eagles. Three twenty-five. Tigers a dollar thirty-four at the line. West Coast plus twenty and a half dollar ninety. Richmond minus twenty and a half dollar ninety. I'm nervous, boy. I'm very nervous, mate. No, I you can't. Over up this, over and up yeah. this, mate. We're in good nick the Tigers, but we've got a lot of players out. Yeah, but this will this will suit you guys. Run, Chai so. Bolton, everyone else. Yeah, I think you guys would really enjoy the open spaces, the running machines that you oh, guys can do. Pressy is he's out, so is Pressy gone? Yes, he's, yeah, did he do his hammy? Yeah, but um, yeah, look, West Coast, and this is the, as you say, you, you will get nervous because West Coast and North Melbourne will knock off some good sides mm, at some stage. At some stage, they will get a win. Mm. I think the way looking at Uze and the way he, he's going to approach this game, I don't think. I think the Tigers, you know, the way they've been able to play, they've they've changed. Over the last couple of weeks, Tigers have absolutely changed. They've got a lot more belief. They've got a lot of younger kids playing. There's been some articles and speculation around Dusty. Um, but, you know, what Dusty does, what Dusty does, he'll just come out and he'll probably get best on ground. The best way to find a three votes for Dusty he say that he's going to quit and he's going to leave, and that's all over. So I'll be spewing at West Coast, but you know, to see to see uh, Harley Bennell on, um, you know, Dusty Martin, all these bikes is going to be fantastic, and that's what we love about love about our game. But yeah, Richmond won't lose over there. I'm nervously tipping the tides, mate, you, but you, I'm not oh. confident. I'm not. I just uh, they're, they're not oozing me with confidence at the moment. They were good last week. They were good the week before. Um, they're good against Carlton as well, but I just I, okay. So they've been good oozing. for four weeks. So uh, you ooze with any mm. confidence with West Coast? No, nah, but they were better last week, they spied. I'll give them, yeah, a pass they're better, mark. absolutely. But yeah. would you give them a pass mark like the Tigers? No, nah, we've got to tip Tigers if we're, if we're looking purely and simply at form. Uh, we're tipping the Tigers, mate, to get the job done. Right, I go. can't wait. Give me your, give me your pick eight. Okay, you, you, you got eight last week, but there's uh, that was with nine games. Uh, can you yeah. do it again this week? Because there's only eight games this week, mate. So what do you got for us, buddy? Absolutely. Well, I'm going. I'm going Melbourne into the Dogs, the Saints, the Crows will get over Carlton, the Suns over the Hawks, Port Adelaide, Cats, and the Tigers will get the job done. Sixty one dollars twenty six, mate, for your pick eight. That is good value. Yeah, I will tell you what, the, in the t in the pick eight. What's your one? Because you've gone a couple of outsiders, mate, and 
There's some good value. Nah, mate, I've gone some outsiders. I've gone the Lions, okay, to, to, yeah. to knock that hoodoo off. I've gone the Bombers on Friday night footy to defeat the Bulldogs. Giants to win, Blues to win, Power, Hawthorne to cause a little upset up at your Gold Coast Suns, uh, the Cats and the Tigers. A hundred and two dollars. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah. Do bucks. me a favor. Do me a favor. Just have a little fiver. Have a little fiver on that oh. with the boys at Palm Bed. Boost it up a bit, and uh, and away we go. Mate, you'll be out on. You're going to be out Thursday night. I, I probably will be too. Yeah, I, and I'll just load up another multi for the next day. <laughs> so. I'll pick seven the next day. <laughs> you'll hey, get listen. to Sunday, and you'll be doing a two leg multi. <laughs> hey, mate, what else? What else you got? For uh, oh, for the listeners, because I love you know, I love these little concepts. I love these little bets that you oh, come up with. I got two, uh, and it's uh, the sun the sun to shine at night on the Gold Coast. <laughs> All right. Always does. No, not at night. <laughs> the sun's to shine at night on the Actually, Gold Coast. I'm we taking... have it at eclipse uh, during the week too, so uh, yep. that has been big. So this is good. I like this. I'm taking suns. 40 plus. What? To, to absolutely smash the Hawks? Yep. Kidding yourself, mate. Yes, anyway, go on. Uh, over plus over 162 and a half points. So the game, yep. So high yep. scoring affair. King will kick three. Yep, he'll dominate. Yep. And I reckon Powell and Mac Andrew off the half back flanks yep. will have 20 plus. Gee whiz. 28.85, big fella. There you go. 28.85 for that little multi. You can take them at the line, but the line for a dollar ninety or whatever, it's at 24, 23 and a half points. So yeah. I I just think six goals, the Suns can do that. Yeah, right. All right, mate. I like the confidence. Uh, I, I'm, I'm Absolutely. Yes, on with the hooks. Right. What's your other one, Spy? Well, my other one is uh, I reckon two goals a day keeps the doctor away. The- <laughs> All right. Yes. Let's keep the dock away. I love it. Two goals a day keeps the dock away. Thursday night, Melbourne, Van Royen, two goals. Yep. Friday, the Dogs, Norton, two goals. Oh, he's due. Saturday, Port Adelaide, Rankin, two goals. Adelaide. Adelaide, we're talking. We're talking Adelaide there, are we? Port, Port Adelaide. Port. What was that Rankin I mean, playing? I mean, I mean uh, Adelaide. Yes. When's yes. Adelaide playing? Yes. So the Crows, the Crows are playing. Crows are playing. Hang on, they're playing. Let's go back. They're playing Carlton. Carlton. Right, yep. so that's good. Yeah, that's fine. Yep, ranking the yep. kick two against the Blues. Yep. Keep and going. Then, uh, and then the Tigers, Rioli on Sunday to kick two. Now, Morris or Daniel? Morris. <laughs> I love it, mate. Good calls. I was going to say the other one's playing on the halfback flank. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, no, Morris, Rioli. This has got to be big, big odds. Was it two goal? No, twenty two eighty two. There you go. That's good. Sorry, twenty eight eighty two. So you're in yep. that twenty eight dollar mark again, Spide. Yep. So your, your son's mouldy. The sun to shine. That's twenty eight eighty five. And your two your two goal plus uh, mouldy. No, no, it's not called two goals plus. It's <laughs> two goals a day keeps the doctor away. I love it, mate. I love it. That's twenty eight eighty two. All right, yeah. that is your bets for the weekend. I love it. Well, I'm going to go. I'm going to go the Brisbane Lions Thursday night footy to break the <laughs> MCG hoodoo, big <laughs> two, kicking two. So I'm going the Lions to win one to 39. All right, yep. so that's decent odds in itself. Charlie Cameron to kick two plus goals. Joe Danaher to kick two plus. 862. Lock it yep. in, Spide. Sip a little bet to kick your weekend off and uh, have a little <laughs> bit of fun, mate. Absolutely. Have some fun. And you know what? Just reload on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know me too well, mate. So we, <laughs> I'll be going again. Hey, listen, download that Palmer Bed app. It is really, really simple. And as we always say, gamble responsibly and always think about what you're really gambling with. It's all about having a little bit of fun. That's for sure. And that's what we have on this show each and every week, Spide. Uh, Fred Dinkum, you hate Fremantle. Uh, and... If there's a like a little hate Dockers fan club or something, <laughs> you're in the match of you. You're in the actual you know, bunker, mate, on Saturday afternoon when uh, when that when that little when that little. I had the earpiece in. 
Yeah. In first into the umpire. I said, yeah, pay a free kick, pay a free kick. There's yeah, three out. <laughs> yeah, their spider was a touch. No, no, it wasn't touch. <laughs> uh, yeah. Hey, listen, mate, uh, have a wonderful weekend, big fella. Uh, are you heading to the Suns? Are you going to head, head to the footy at all? Over the no, weekend? yeah, I'm going to go. Yeah, I'll go and watch the Suns on uh, Saturday love night. So, yeah, absolutely love it. Make sure I leave about five minutes before the end of the game so I can get out of the car park. But outside of that, happy days. Beautiful, mate. Love your work. Look forward to catching up next week. Always a pleasure, buddy. And uh, go the Lions on Thursday. Night. Oh, well, oh, well, we'll speak to you on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> See you, mate. Cheers. What are you really gambling with? For free and confidential support, call the number on the screen or visit the website.